This is the Halston 1 to 12 cologne. So this is specifically made for men. But I mean, who am I to talk about what gender shit is made for? You're not a girl, bitch. Little fucking faggot. This was all right, hey fairy. So today's video is gonna be one I actually just pulled out of my ass, but I think is a really good idea. So my mom actually has this collection that's I don't know how many years old. It's this box just full of like mini perfume bottles. So I found this in this like weird closet I have in my house, and I was like, hmm, what if I review these? Why don't I find the oldest ones in the entire box and I smell them? Girl, that's a booty hole. Now the oldest one in the entire box was this one. This is like a two pack. So I did a little bit of research on these guys and these are actually original Miss Dior perfumes from 1942 Paris, France. We. Oui. So these perfumes were around when Hitler was. That's why I prefer the Anglo-Styles I prefer the city. That's so crazy just to think I'm holding them right here in my hand. It's in the palm of your hand. Like these low-key belong in a museum or something, but we're gonna smell them. Ooh. However, before I smell the Miss Dior perfumes, I have a few other little mini bottles that are also very old. A few of these guys are just as old as the Miss Dior, but I was unable to actually verify what date these are because there's no batch number on the bottom. Also, if my eyes are distracting because they look like rainbows, it's because they are. <laughs> I'm using these contacts I got from Unique, so they're the Sweetie Rio pink ones. So the first perfume I'm gonna be smelling is this one. It's called Kobachard. What? By a brand called Grease Paris. We. Oui. Now this scent was created in 1959, and I believe the recipe or the scent ingredients haven't changed since. It smells almost like an alcoholic grandma. Almost a little bit like tobacco or like a spiciness. Very, very faint notes of like, like the rind of an orange almost. Overall though, this one is actually surprisingly spicy for a woman's scent. Segment on our show called Explain That Gram, we're into a deep oh, that's hot, that's hot. So the next perfume we're gonna smell is one called Chantilly. This one was created in 1941, so it could potentially be older than the Miss Dior. The name though is interesting because Chantilly is like a this one has kind of turned a little bit. Ooh. I can tell because it smells like worms. <laughs> this one's definitely more kind of like citrusy and it has like almost like a like a citrusy like creaminess. It's almost like soapy. It smells like a waxy candle, like soapy. We do not want soap on our bodies. That is torture. <laughs> mm. So perhaps maybe it was like kind of trendy at that time to smell like Irish Spring soap. So I guess in the 40s and 50s, Irish Spring was the shit. The next one is in this interesting bottle that kind of looks like a red blood cell. I love that, yeah. This is the Halston 1 to 12 cologne. So this is specifically made for men. But I mean, who am I to talk about what gender shit is made for? You're not a girl, bitch. Little fucking faggot. This was launched in 1976. Want you smell my fart? I actually don't like this one. It smells like a douchebag. I just smell aftershave. It's like the liquid form of toxic masculinity. So the next one we're gonna be smelling is by Givenchy. We oui. l'intradit. Lintred it. I don't know. Dyslexia. And look at look how cute this is. It's like a little chode bottle. Cute. I'm not cute. So this is a fragrance for women. It Ooh. launched in 1957. It smells like pears and vodka. I don't think it's gone bad because it doesn't smell like lipstick or like old perfume. The next one I'm gonna smell is by Miss Balenciaga. Yaga. This one is called Ledix. That is some good looking dick. So this one was launched in 1947. Oh, ew. I mean, I'm gagging it from, like, the smell. Balenciaga, what the fuck is this? I'm about to beat this bitch up. You know the way the soft soap smells? Like the soap with, like, the fish pictures in it? Fishy, fishy. Fishy, see yeah, fishy. That's this. Fucking fish soap. But that does support my theory of things from 1940 and 50 smelling like soap. Guess I better wash my mouth out with soap. All right, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Finally! I'm gonna smell Miss Dior, 1942. It's been 84 years. We. You know what this smells like? 
soap. That is amazing. Wow, like, oh my god. There's a few other things, like, mixed in, like, it almost kind of smells like incense. And that's so crazy, too, because these guys all smelled like soap, and these were made in 1940 to 1950. And this is actually from 1942. Are you dumb? And this smells like soap. And I'll be honest, all of these, like, the soapy ones, they all smell like old ladies. But if you think about it, if someone were, like, a young woman in a time period where, like, smelling like soap and smelling like this way was, like, considered, like, the best thing. So what if old lady smell and old people People smell is like not like their bodies just extruding old lady juice or something like that <laughs> what if it's just like their smell preference <laughs> That must have been really popular back then because all of these have that kind of smell of soap to them. This one kept really well, surprisingly. So that was the last one I'm gonna smell. But yeah, I really hope you guys learned something from this. The Classroom Gems! Please give me cock. Like, if you ever get trapped in the 1940s or 50s, smell like soap. You'll get all the dicks. We. Oui. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, I try my hardest to post every few weeks or so. You don't have to subscribe, but then again, you don't really have to live past 55. I'm just kidding. Subscribe. All right, bye. Girl, that's a booty hole.